So I'm Claire Swallow and I am the Closet Queen. We're a business that does clothing for ladies. and um, We sell from an 8 to a 28, predominantly specialising from a 14 to a probably a 24. Um, and I trade on Barnsley Market. I sell ladies clothing basically because I'm really passionate about it. But the reason that I chose to sell clothing is because as a bigger lady myself, I'm a size 18, 20, really struggled to find up to date, nice, casual and dressy outfits that were a comfortable fit and that were flattering for the figure that I've got. I decided to trade on markets firstly because it's a lot cheaper set up cost as a business. Obviously you've not got any leases or long term agreements to sign into. Um, I just felt it were more flexible for me as a new business person wanting to start something off. And also as well I think when you start up in business there's always that doubt that oh, what if it doesn't happen. You've got to have the right attitude and you've got to be positive to think it is going to work. But obviously financially you can't be ploughing lots of money into things that you haven't already got. We was with a market if you start off as a casual trader it's ideal because you can do it week to week love market trading because it's real it's friendly it's a great atmosphere and um, there's no sort of stigma of sort of if you feel that you're good enough to shop in that place or you know it's just a real friendly open atmosphere it's absolutely brilliant there's loads of rustle and bustle and it just suits my personality to be honest I, I love it the most challenging thing about market trading really is the weather, especially if you're outside. But if you're really passionate about what you're doing and you love your products, you can overcome that because coming to work doesn't really feel like coming to work. We're developing a smaller size clothes business as well, which is a sister company, The Princess Boutique. But for The Closet Queen as well, we're redeveloping our website. That will be done by the end of this month. Um, we do a click and collect facility, which is absolutely brilliant. So if customers want to just fly in and haven't really got time to shop, they can order online like you can in your high street shops. Um, why should it be any different for a market trader as opposed to a high street shop? What we want to offer is that friendly, relaxed atmosphere, but to give them everything that they can get from the big boys as well. It's really important for market traders to be online. Social media is amazing. Again, for a new startup business, it's brilliant because you can start off like I did on Facebook before you even get out there to the market and drill your audience up and start creating a vibe about it. And then it's just literally becoming an outlet for what you've built up on there. The Closet Queen now have got just short of 10,000 followers on Facebook. We're also on Instagram and Twitter, um, but it's key to my business. And if I didn't start the Facebook page, then we wouldn't be half as successful as we are today. It's really important to start it that way. And like I said, use it as a foundation for your business and to be able to communicate with your customers free. Yeah, we employ girls on our stall as well. Um, there's loads of opportunities. Um, one of my girls, Emily, has been with me since she was 15. And I've, you know, we've developed a smaller size business that we're going to be doing, and Emily's a partner in that as well. So it's really good. You've got lots of opportunities in business, but also as apprenticeships as well. We're just going to be employing an apprenticeship as well for us in business administration, not market trading. But it's going to be an aspect of everything, behind the scenes, the online stuff. You know, we're not just a market stall, we are a, a, a full, you know, working on business. So advice really for anybody thinking about starting on a market is to make sure that the products are the right products. Don't sort of just go out and buy what everybody else is buying on a market. You need to make yourself different. You need to research what you're going to buy and you need to make sure that the quality is right as well. Because gone are the days of the, you're just a market trader, fly up, shove something on a stall and you're long gone. It's not about that. It's about longevity and keeping your customers for life.